Here we are going to explore how to use the mode function in MATLAB to handle different numerical scenarios from simple arithmetic to practical applications. So without wasting time, let's get started. Basically the mode function in MATLAB returns the remainder after the division of one number by another. It's practically useful in various mathematical calculations. So now here we'll start with the basic example. So this is our example. Here, if we have 25 and we want to find the remainder when we divide it by 24, then we'll do it by this manner. We'll call our number 1 is equal to 25, divisor 1 is equal to 4, and this is the result 1 variable. So we'll do mode. So this is the command which we are going to use, mod, mode, into the bracket, num1 comma divisor 1 so number comma divisor this is how we are going to write the mode command and then into the next line we are going to display the output so we are going to use this disk command here i'm not going to explain how this disk command functions because in another video i have explained this disk command entirely if you want to understand that you can find the link in description below or above here in i button but basically this disk command is used to display the result. So now we are going to run this section and we'll see how the output looks like. And there we go. Mode 25,4 gives us 1. Now this command is even capable of handling negative numbers. So let's see another example of negative number. And this is our example number 2. Here, instead of 25, we are making it minus 25. And now let's see the result. The result is 3. Here you have noticed that the result is 3. Because MATLAB ensures modulus is always non-negative, which is useful for certain type of mathematical modeling. So this is how this function is useful with the negative numbers also. After this negative number, we are going to apply the same logic with the arrays. So let us take another example. So here we are taking another example. Here we have one array. The name of that variable is array. And we are using the divisor as 3. And then we are going to calculate the result 3 in array comma divisor 3. Here we are doing one more thing. We are showing this section of text in different line and the final answer in different line. So from this it will be clear to you that the mode function can also operate on arrays. So basically here each element is divided by 3 and the remainders are displayed in result. Right. So now let's run and see the result. Now here after exploring three different examples of mode function now I'm going to demonstrate one of the practical use of mode function. Let's have that example. So here we have example number four. Here we'll see practical use of mode. And what we are going to do, we are going to identify whether the number is even number or odd number. Let's bring it a little bit up here. So here in first line, what we are creating? Here in first line, we are creating an array from zero to 10. Then we are going to identify whether the number is even or odd, right? Then here in the next line, we have created a variable called is odd. Then we are using this mode function number from 0 to 10, comma 2. So here we are dividing each number by 2. So when we divide even number by 2, the remainder will be 0. And when we divide odd number by 2, the remainder will be 1. So, in the case of odd numbers, our remainder will be 1. And then we are comparing that one is equal to equal to 1. So, this double equal to is there for logical operation. So, if LHS1 is equal to the RHS1, the logic will be true. And if the logic will be true, that number will be odd number. Otherwise, the number will be even number. So, this is the logic behind this line. And then we are simply displaying the results. So now let's run this thing. So here first this is the numbers. 
so the output of this line and then display numbers so it is displaying the result of this line 0 to 10 and then after output shows this odd numbers this line and then after display numbers is odd and they are 1 3 5 7 9 so this is how you can use these mode functions practically i have presented one of the example now it is your turn to think another scenario where the mode function could be useful share your ideas or question into the comment section below so in this video we have explored how to use mode function in MATLAB for various tasks from basic arithmetic to more complex array operations and then we have seen a practical example. So till now if you have enjoyed the video do not forget to hit the like button to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. So see you into the next video.